Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endureth forever. And we are thankful to God on this Wednesday, not a minute of the week, hum day, a day we thank God for intercessors, for prayer warriors, for men and women, believers who are praying night and day, day and night praying for us, interceding. Prayer still works. Prayer still changes things and people. And prayer, we must. It is a command. God says that we ought always to pray and not to faint. And Jesus prayed. And we honor Jesus today. And we can follow his example in prayer. And so if you're a believer and you're not praying as you are, let the day be the beginning of your time of prayer, your commitment, your dedication, your interest. Indeed, you want to put the time in in prayer. And it can start with one scripture verse. Pray that. Pray it until you pray the next one. Until you can pray with sincerity and commitment. God honors obedience. We are called to pray. And so today, we give thanks to God for sanctification, a spiritual elevation. It's a place of consecration, dedication, and an obedience to the will of God. It is the will of God that we be sanctified. Jesus prayed it in his high priestly prayer. John 17, verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. It is a need. Without it, we die spiritually. We cannot progress. We will deny God if we don't seek and receive sanctification. It is the will of God in Christ Jesus for us. According to 1 Thessalonians 4, starting at verse 3, this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. It helps us to control our fleshly desires. As a matter of fact, it is the buffer. It stands between us and the evil one. And it speaks in the word of God, which is power, and we need to be sanctified. Sanctification changes what we think. It helps us. According to Romans 12, 1 and 2, I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your spiritual act of worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. It transforms us. It causes us to change the dial, to see the enemy coming a long ways off. It causes us to change what we think. More importantly, it changes the way we act. It helps us to act God-like. It changes the way we perform. We need to thank God for sanctification. And let's also submit to the will of God for our lives so that we can be set apart, aside and be prepared for the good work God has ordained for us. We can experience sanctification in this present world all by the grace of God. Father, we give you praise. As believers, we thank you for sanctification, for this experience, this gift, you provided in salvation for us. And sometimes you don't fully understand it, but that's okay. You have already provided it. We just need to pursue. We just need to walk in. We just need to continue to understand. And you're gonna help us. We will make mistakes, we'll make errors, but your word will turn us back to you. So we submit today 
in thanksgiving, in adoration, we submit today that we be sanctified through the truth of the word of God, that our mindset is different, that we will not be caught up in the things of this world, but we'll be transformed by the renewal of our minds, knowing that we must live a certain life to be accepted in the kingdom of God. Oh, we give you thanks today. As we pray, we praise you, we honor you, we bow before you. We are grateful that we can apply the will of God to our lives. Likewise, our families and those who lead the nations, including our prime minister and all of parliament, their families, we apply your word to them today. May they so accept the truth of your word and be sanctified through the truth of your word. That means we will think through your word. We will act through your word. We will live according to your word. We allow your word to be in us, which is the hope of glory in Christ Jesus. I give you praise for the position that you've caused us to be in. And right now, that we will pursue in this position so that we may experience the presence and the power of God being prepared, being cleansed, being shaped, being formed to do the will of God, wherever it might be. We thank you for parents today. We thank you for siblings that our household will be sanctified. Wherever our children may be, God, I pray for them that your will be done and your kingdom come. Touch now. You know those situations and circumstances that are challenging, but it's because of your word we can overcome. Thank you for the crisis that we will put ourselves in, denying the flesh, looking to you, the author and the finish of our faith, turning from sin, not touching the things that are wrong, but indeed pursuing you. We know the terror, our God, and help us to compel man everywhere to come to you. We give you praise today as we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and we thank you for believers everywhere. And we will honor you in all we say and all we do. Heal those who are brokenhearted today. Strengthen the weak among us. Let the poor declare they are rich in Christ Jesus the King. And we thank you for comforting those who are in bereavement. Those who are challenged, you are faithful. And as we meet today, as the people of God, let us honor you. And thank you for miracle signs and wonders that will follow. Thank you for those who lead the body of Christ. We commend them to today. And we say, Lord, have your way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, my family in Christ. Let's pursue. Let's thank God. Let's express. Let's allow sanctification to be a reality in our lives. Today, God wants us to be set apart. So much to be done but only he can prepare us for the work that he has for us to do. Let's spend time in his presence today. Let's spend time in his word and allow sanctification to be manifested. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. Amen.